Well, every morning I, I come down to the cabin and I do this little vlog. And every morning I actually do the vlog. I do this a couple of times. And then I finish the vlog. I then walk back to the house, turn on the computer, and then realize that I can't see a bloody thing because I left my glasses down, <laughs> down at the cabin. So I had to walk back down again, get my glasses. It ain't a miles, it ain't miles, but I do have it. Today, I'm trying not to do that. We shall see. Um, right, so yes, Pip, you're a star. She uh, replied to me yesterday. Two things. One, that you, you, you've you watched a few of them, so that's good. Yes, it, you did. I thought you might have watched the swearing one. Um, and also that you did um, the spell and grammar check for the uh, stories. Uh, I haven't allowed, this is to the future people, I haven't allowed Pippa to actually change the really anything other than the, the, the this main things. That she, as she said, she said it's the way that you do it. And it got me thinking that actually my problem in with myself and I suppose we all have this, is that I don't know how good these stories are. I'm writing them thinking, oh, that's so wonderful, so emotional, so powerful, so strong. And they could be, I don't think they're going to be crap, but they could just be not interesting enough to be able to finish a story, or one page of it. And then... Um, it's very hard to gauge, you know, how, how, do you, how do people know? I think, you know, the way that I gauge things a lot of the times is that I know from past experience, I mean, yeah, we've talked about that, I mean, past experiences, how we make up for lost intelligence. Um, but if I look at my past experience about me, I'm actually okay at m most things. Some things I'm not very really good at, but I don't think I'm brilliant at anything. Um, so the chances are with that knowledge that these actual stories are gonna be okay. And of course, <laughs> you have to be brilliant or different. So, you know, they, they, I think, you know, they're gonna be my own personal enjoyment and journey. And they are, they're an amazing journey. The two stories that I've come up, the two pages that I've come up with, started with a strength, and again, it just shows you how important the the stories are, and the real nucleus that I've been thinking about. I thought about this morning, and the real nucleus is this model. This model there, this one here, is the nucleus of the idea. It's because when I built it. I realised once I'd finished it, well not finished it, it's not finished, it's got no windows, the roof's not finished, but once I've got the structure made, those second floor windows are far too big. And I thought, why the bloody hell are they that big? And I wanted to somehow come up with a story that linked those windows. And I realised it was going to be something to do with, they were extended for a Harley flat because people can, can sit in the window and look out and be and it's beautiful and it's also almost ceiling to wall size windows not quite but they really are ceiling to wall ceiling the floor to ceiling and then the, the those windows look over the harbour and you have the most spectacular sunsets and that knowledge from that mo model then has then grew and if then things happen, we went to um, to Ben's and Laura's, and it, the the story I I got almost got lost in the town, um, and I walked quite a way down into into the town looking for them, and it wasn't until I was actually a good. 200 yards away from where we'd, I'd lost contact with them that I realised, remember I haven't got a mobile phone I don't, I, I threw my, I didn't actually do that I tell everybody I did that but I, I did actually stop, stop using a mobile phone um, 16 years ago but 
yeah, I've lost my thread now. Um, but yes, and I, it wasn't until I was about 200 yards, 300 yards down the road, and I, I then suddenly clicked and thought, I said, Dave, logically, they would not just walk off. They would be looking for you round the last time place they saw you. You better go back to where you got from. <laughs> so I went back, and there they were waiting for me. And I thought that's, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, you know, but I thought it, it then interested me about dementia and about uh, my nan, God bless her, beautiful soul, and my granddad. <laughs> um, their relationship and their, and I, and I, I wanted to put a picture of a, a strong woman um, that really beautifully dominated her husband in a, in, a, in a beautiful way. And he loved it. He loved that she planned things and, you know, and then the knowledge of losing it, and I haven't quite got it right yet. But the the whole thing is, is that he knows he's got dementia, and he wants to somehow solve the problem because she won't move down to Catacomb, even though it's her life's dream to do that, because she's scared that he it will be a new place for well, not a new place, but it won't be a place that is every day, and that is friends, and that it would be better for him to actually to stay up country and she will stay there but he set that this plan i'm not going to go for the story pips you're going to see it i'm going to send it to you in a minute i'm going to hear you mail you the, the next side of it but i love it but it could be just i think you know and i i, I accept it's that it's going to be okay and okay with the knowledge of the model village, I think can be enough for people to appreciate it in a small way. The idea of this is going to become a big bestseller and uh, I'll be uh, interviewed on the settee I have you on the BBC Morning. Not um, not a, via video link because of uh, it'll all be over by then and we'll be all okay. So yeah, anyway, I really am waffling today, aren't I? But I feel a lot happier. I've um, um, I'm going to be doing another short uh, no time today again restocking but I'm going to try to get another I've got a little idea for another story um, that uh, is, is just growing in my head Pip, uh, Poppy um, a lovely family that come down to the t t into Bude a lot um, I think I mentioned them in a vlog before has on the 3rd of uh, August her mother he, uh, Facebook me but I just don't go onto Facebook I'm terrible Um with her she it, she's given me an identity to work on it's a 20 year old girl called poppy so i'm going to work on that i've got some ideas that i think she's going to be a fire starter i think it's going to be poppy that's going to save a lot of pain and it's really dark so how i don't know if i can i can share it with a mother and father but obviously uh poppy will have to be probably 21 herself until she um gets to read the other side of the story that she won't know about. And I think that's quite a magical thing. It will be like at all 18, she can be 18, she doesn't have to be 21. But at 18, she can read the actions of Poppy. And um, that are angry and lashing out at the world and destructive actually saves lives so anyway that's what's in my head anyway so i am waffling now so it's time to say goodbye oh did i again that's twice a night